If you do not want to struggle after joining a university as a computer science major and if you want to be successful throughout then watch this video till the end. So let's get started. So skill number one, learn the most popular language required to be in the corporate world. So currently the most popular languages are Java and Python. So you must know the basic concepts of both the languages because once you join a university, no one is going to spoon feed you and that will be a very fast paced environment and they will cover one concept the other day and the next concept the other day. So you need to catch up and for that you need to learn some basic concepts beforehand. So once you know those concepts, then you will be able to cope up with the speed. So I will say start learning now by going to hackerrank.com. So I recommend learn by doing strategy. So when you go to hackerrank.com, you will see problems and you can start with some easy problems. So when, when you will choose a programming language, it will always start with the easy problems and the difficulty level will increase gradually. To so do those problems and practice them and I will say make a schedule, just do two problems a day or 10 problems a day depending on how much time you have so i have a regular schedule that i do two problems a day because that helps me in getting prepared for the coding challenges and uh, interview questions that i will get when i will appear in my interview so this will be very helpful skill number two make a habit of self-learning and self-teaching so once again in a fast-paced environment you will have to learn a lot of things on your own and also professors expect you to find a creative solution on your own so make a habit of reading documentations because those are full of information and they can help you become an expert in a programming language so they are a better sources to learn so because most of documentations are given by are made by by the makers of those programming language for example the documentation written by google on their developer page is much better than other documentations therefore you should definitely consider reading documentation rather, rather than watching tutorials or watching videos Skill number three, learn Terminal or learn how to use Linux. So Terminal is the most important skill that everyone should have because in a corporate world, a lot of things are done on a terminal. And if you if you do not know how to use it, then you will struggle a lot because a lot of things can be done easily on a terminal. And also I personally love Terminal because once you do things on Terminal, they're a lot faster and you can get your project and things done very quickly. And also you should try to get familiarized with the Linux operating system because that is amazing. I love that operating system. And also if you have a Mac, then you must be familiar with that terminal as well. Both are, both are very similar except few changes. So definitely learn terminal and try to work and try to do your projects using terminal. Skill number four, learn to build some creative projects. And that can be done by creating some basic projects in the first hand. So try building some projects that already exist. So once you build a project that is already existing, you will know an entire mindset of the person who makes a project and how you can approach towards the problems and how you can fix them. And also you will learn some basic debugging skills by making a project. So once you have these skills, try solving your problems. For example, I cannot remember all my passwords. So I make my, I made my own algorithm to encrypt passwords and I, I store all my passwords on my phone and they are encrypted and I know the passcode, I know the private and public keys to decode it. So I have made my own solution. And similarly, you can solve your own problems, problems in your society, problems in your life using programming and be creative. And creativity doesn't require you to hit yourself with the hammer on your brain. It's just a new way of solving your problems and actually solving the problems that haven't been solved yet. So you just need to look at the problems with a different mindset, different perspective. So this way you can become a creative programmer for sure. Skill number five, build a great resume. As I've already mentioned four skills and you can just collaborate those and put it in your resume. So go online and look for some software engineering profiles and software engineering resumes and make a similar one in a similar format and um, pick put all your projects in the order of good projects. So good projects first and the small projects in the bottom of the list and also put the programming languages you know and also some community service that you have done because if you do not have have experience then you can use that space by putting some communities you joined by clubs you have joined 
some community service you're doing so this can help you in standing out and maybe you will land in a good place and you will get an internship in your first year easily with that so i hope you find this video helpful so that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye also you need to have a knowledge of git and github and you need a really good github profile so keep on uploading your projects to github and learn all the concepts related to push pull and handling merge conflicts so that you are not new to those concepts when you join a company or when you do a group project so these are very very important concepts that you must know